to the Evening Standards Shopping Live event. My name is Kelly, I'm a yoga teacher from London and I'm going to be taking you through a little 40 minute flow today. We're just going to give it about a minute or so just to let everyone arrive. I'm just going to light a little bit of Palo Santo just to make the room nice and zen. So just wherever you are, just find a comfortable space. Maybe if you want to light some candles or just really like set up, get nice and comfortable. So today's flow, it's going to be super simple. We're going to do a lot of twists. So twisting in yoga is really good for detoxifying the body. Obviously, we've just come out of Easter. Everyone can be feeling a little bit sluggish. Obviously, this week, we are finally coming back to real life. So I thought it would be good to just let us let everything go, twist it out, detoxify it out, and feel really good at the end. All right, guys, grab some water. Find your space. If you don't have a mat, that's absolutely fine. Just maybe you can put a towel down or a carpet or just... Wherever you are, just around your area, just know your space. All right, so anyone who has just joined, welcome. Today's class is just going to be 40 minutes. This is accessible for everyone, so if you are completely new to yoga, do not worry, that's absolutely fine. We're going to take it super slow, things are all going to burn. If anything feels weird or niggly, you will know, just take a step back. Feel free to take a child's pose at any point. And yeah, just enjoy, like this practice is for you. I'm here to guide you. Try and listen to me rather than watch me and just enjoy. All oh, right guys, so wherever you are, you are just gonna take a seat, cross your legs, just sit nice and tall in your spine and just start to close your eyes and slow down the breath. So just start relaxing into your body. Inhaling through the nose if you can. And having a nice deep exhale out. Good, I want you guys to just start closing off any thoughts that might be coming into the mind. Whether you've just stepped away from your laptop or from work, just take these next 40 minutes just for yourself. It's very hard in the day, especially as we are coming out of lockdown now, to just find that time to really check in with ourselves, check in with our bodies, and just make sure that we're just giving ourselves the love and the care that we deserve as well. Good, so sit up a little taller, relax the shoulders down. We're gonna inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold four, three, two, one. Breathe out four, three, two, one. Good, hold three, two, one. Breathe in four, three, two, one. Hold four, three, two, one. Breathe out four. Three, two, one, good. Good, now your body should start to feel a little bit more relaxed. Just start again tuning inside. So have a little full body scan, check in with the mind. Maybe take this time now to set an intention for the practice today. So maybe something that you want to release something that's stressing you out, something that you want to let go of. Or maybe it's even something that you want to hold on to that you've built up throughout this past year, something that you want to take with you into this next chapter of life. You're going to bring your thumbs up to your third eye, just in between the eyebrows, press down. And take a nice big inhale here with that thought. And as you exhale, we're just gonna bow the head down for three, two, and one. Good, when you're ready, open your eyes and gently start to look up. Oh, the sun's coming in. 
We're going to inhale, lift both arms up. As you exhale, you're going to clasp the hands together, place them behind the head and just let the elbows come back. Lift through the chest, breathe in. And breathe out. Good, one more inhale here. And exhale, release the hands down. You're gonna drop the left hand to the side and just extend the right arm all the way over so we get that nice side stretch of the body. Breathe in. And exhale, right hand places down next to right hip, left arm extends over. Breathe in, extend. And exhale, good. This time we're gonna drop the left elbow down and extend the right arm over. So we're just increasing the stretch slightly, inhale. And exhale, back to center, right elbow comes down, left arm extends over, breathe in. And exhale, good. You're gonna place the left hand onto the right knee, Place the right hand just behind the right hip and gently start to roll that right shoulder back. Lift through the chest and just look over the right shoulder. So we're just lifting through the chest here, kind of getting a stretch on the neck too. Inhale. Breathing out. One more breath here, sit nice and tall. And exhale, back to center, good. This time you're gonna place the right hand on the left knee, left hand places just behind the left hip. And again, lift through the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades and just start to look over the left shoulder. Inhale here. Breathing out. One more breath in. And exhale, back to center, good. We're gonna come into a tabletop position. So knees directly under the hips, hands directly under the shoulders, untuck the toes. We're gonna to go for our cat and cows here. So inhale, drop the hips, relax the shoulders down, look up. And then as you exhale, you're gonna roll through the core, through the sacral area, and then push all the way through the shoulder blades and roll forward slightly. So we're really extenuating that can cow, feeling every movement. Inhale, look up, drop the hips, good. And exhale, push through. You wanna feel every vertebra of your spine working here. So we're just really mobilizing, really starting to get in tune with our body. So just go at your own pace here. Just start feeling whatever feels nice. Maybe you wanna take some circular motions with the hips as well. Whatever's comfortable for you, just have a little play. Good, staying with the breath. The one thing I do love about doing yoga at home is that you kind of don't get the same feeling of when you're in a class. If you, if you haven't done a pose before, if you haven't done a position and you feel a little bit silly, when you're at home doing it on your own, it doesn't really matter what you look like because no one can see you. So you can really just start to feel into the body. Good, last two breaths here at your own pace. Breathing out. Last final inhale, look up. And exhale, come to a neutral spine. Good, we're gonna inhale, lift the right arm up. Try and keep the hips nice and square here. Hold for three, two, and one, exhale, bring the right shoulder down, let the hips rise, and just hold here in this position for three, for two, and for one, back to center, good. Inhale, lift the left side up, and exhale, left shoulder comes down, hips rise, breathe in, breathing out. One more breath here. And exhale back to a neutral spine. Good, if you're feeling a little unstable, 
You can tuck your toes under for this next part. That's gonna help our core just engage a little bit more. So if you feel like you're a bit more of a beginner, maybe tuck the toes under. If you feel like you wanna test yourself, keep them untucked. We're gonna inhale, extend the left arm, right leg, hold. So you wanna keep that right hip staying down. We wanna squeeze in the pelvis so we're not arching. Holding there, three, two, and one. Inhale, bring the left elbow to the right knee as you come in, push through the shoulder blades, and then exhale, push it back. Good, we've got three of those. Inhale to touch. Exhale, reach. One more, inhale, touch. Exhale, reach. Option here, we can either hold it here, or if you're feeling like you want to take it that little bit further, you can reach the left arm around for the right ankle and just start pulling that right ankle up and we get a bit more of a stretch here. This is an advanced movement, so if you can't quite reach it, don't worry. Holding three, two, and one. Release back to centre, tap the toes, shake out the hips if you need to. Again, just find your neutral spine, squeeze in the core, push through the shoulder blades. And when you're ready, inhale, we're going to extend the right arm, left leg and hold. Tuck in the pelvis, reach nice and long for three, two and one. Inhale, elbow to knee and then exhale, reach. Inhale, elbow to knee, push through the shoulders. Exhale, reach. Last one, inhale, elbow to knee. And exhale, reach out. We're either holding it here or reaching the hand behind, reaching for the ankle and slowly starting to lift up. Hold three, and two, and one. Good, when you're ready, bring the knees out to the side nice and wide. Bring the toes together and we'll drop the head, take a child's pose and breathe. Good, breath in, inhale. Nice. And a deep breath out, let yourself sink into the hips that little bit more. You can even move the arms over to the left side, feel that stretch down the lap. And we can move the arms over to the right if that feels nice too. We've got three more breaths here. Breathe in. Breathing out. Last two. Last one. Breathe in. And when you are ready, we are going to come up into a plank position. So shift the weight forward, push through the shoulder blades, tuck the pelvis under. If you're new to yoga, this is the perfect place to get into our downward facing dog. We're just gonna lift the hips up and then gently just rock into our first downward facing dog. So if you wanna pedal out the feet, find your position. I just noticed I've got some blue weird stuff on my feet going on here. Good, nice here, pedaling through, looking under each armpit. Just getting nice and comfortable in this position. Our downward dog should feel like a recovery position. So you should feel really relaxed. I remember when I started yoga, I used to find this position really hard. So if it does hurt at the beginning, don't worry. But try and close off and just test the mind. Yoga is all about that mind muscle connection and working against what we are used to. So kind of getting into that uncomfortable position to then feel comfortable again. Good, when you're ready, you're just gonna bend the knees. So go for a bit of a regress downward dog, get that stretch through the shoulders. And then we're slowly just gonna take a nice big step towards the front of our mat, place our feet behind our wrists and just forward fold over, let your body hang, breathe in. As we breathe out, we can take hold of the elbows, go into this ragdoll position, inhale. Exhale, one more breath in, and as we breathe out, walk the feet 
closer together than the knees, vertebrae by vertebrae, we're going to roll up to standing, head comes up last, roll the shoulders back, inhale, lift the arms up high, and exhale, bring your hands to your heart, and we will meet in our Tadasana Mountain Pose. So in our Tadasana, palms are facing forward, toes together, heels slightly further apart. Surya Namaskar A, inhale, lift the arms up high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, come to a flat back. Exhale, bend the knees, place both hands down, step the right foot back, step the left foot back, shift the weight forward, drop our knees, our chest and chin is going to drop, bum goes up in the air. Hold here for three, two, one. We're going to inhale to a baby cobra. So staying down nice and low, elbows bent. And exhale, tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Good, we'll go through that again. Lift the heels up at the back, bend the knees, take a nice big step towards the front of the mat, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands come up high. And exhale, move back in Artadasana. Good, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, place the hands down. This time, step the left foot back. Step the right foot back, shift the weight forward. This time, just drop the knees. Elbows in. We're going to go for a regress Chaturanga. So just slowly lowering the chest all the way to the floor. Good. Now this time, inhale to Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Good. Breathing. Breathing out here. Again, if you want to pedal the feet, you can. Good, last two breaths, inhale, exhale, one more, breathe in, and breathe out, good, we're going to inhale, start to lift the left leg up, keep the hips nice and square, you're going to bend the left knee, open up the hip, hold for three, two, one, inhale, bring your knee to your nose, come forward. We're going to step the left foot down in between the hands, shift the right leg back and drop the knee. You want this front left foot to be at 90 degrees, so you can push it forward if you need to. And then we're slowly going to start to inhale, lift the hands up. We're in this low lunge position. Good, breathe in. As we breathe out, clasp the hands together, place them behind the head. And let your hips drop down, elbows open up. We want to keep the core squeezed in tightly, then squeeze the glutes so we're not putting any pressure on the lower back. Hold for three, two, and one. Good. Option to stay here, or you can bring the right hand to the right hamstring and just gently start to extend the left arm up and take a stretch. If it feels too much, just take it back a step to where you were. Good, one breath here, inhale. And exhale, place both hands around the front foot, tuck the back toe under, step straight back down with facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Open up the right knee, push back the heel, extend through the left leg, feel that stretch of the hip flexor. Breathe out. Inhale, right knee to nose. And then step the right foot down, slide it forward, drop the back left knee, inhale, lift the arms up high. And exhale, clasp the hands together, place them behind the head, lift through the chest, let the elbows drop back, look up, breathe in. Breathe out. Option to drop the left hand to the left hamstring, extend the right arm over. For three, for two, and for one, place both hands around the front foot, tuck the back toe under, step straight back down with 
Facing dog, good. Breathe here, two breaths. Inhale. And breathing out. And on that final exhale here, bring the left foot into the center again. Inhale, lift up the right. Breathe it out there. Inhale, right knee to nose. Exhale, kick back. Two more. Inhale, right knee to nose. Exhale, kick back. One more. Inhale, right knee to nose. Hold there. Three, two, one. This time, place the right foot down. We're going to come up into a high lunge. So, squeezing your glutes, engaging the core, find your balance. Inhale, lift the arms up high. Hold it here. Breathe in. Breathing out. One more. Inhale here. This time as we breathe out, we're slowly going to start to extend the right arm back. So we're twisting over the right side. Arms staying as straight as they can. Bending into that front knee more. Good. Hold here. Inhale. If that's too much, you can bring your hands to your heart. Good. For the last three. Two, and one. That left elbow is going to stay over the right knee. Bring your hands to your heart. We're going to come into this revolved stretch here, looking over the right side if we can, holding our balance. Three, two, and one. Good. Engaging the core, coming back up to that high lunge. Inhale, look up. And exhale, place the hands around the front foot, step back to plank. Option to go for a full shepherd angle or regress to the knees, lower the chest up way. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Bring the right foot into the centre. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Holding there, breathing. Breathing out. Inhale, left knee to nose. Exhale, kick back. Two more. Inhale, left knee to nose. Exhale, kick back. Last one. Inhale, left knee to nose. Hold for three, two, and one. Set the left foot by the hands. Engage the core, squeeze the glutes. Come up high lunge. Inhale, lift the arms up high. Breathing in. And breathing out. One more inhale here. Good. And as we exhale, we're going to start to extend the left arm back this time. So coming over the left side. Inhale. Good. Stay there. Breathing out. One final breath in here. And then as we exhale, bring the hands to the heart and the right elbow comes over the left knee and we go for that revolved stretch. Keep the back leg straight. Looking up for three, for two, and for one. Good, squeeze the core, find your balance, come back up to that high lunge. And then exhale, bring the hands down to the floor. Step back to our plank position, shift the weight forward. Option for your own vinyasa, so if you need to drop to your knees, that's fine. Lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good, run this down dog for five breaths. Good, stay with me. You can close your eyes here. Let yourself sink into this downward dog position. Maybe you want to pedal out the feet. Maybe you want to twist the hips or bend the knees. Try and get those heels a little bit further down each time. Last two breaths here. Good, one final inhale. And exhale, 
inhale, bend the knees, lift the heels up at the back, option to jump, step or hop to the front of the mat, forward fold, inhale, reach to rise, hands come up high, and exhale, back down to our heart. Good, take a moment here to reset, shake it out if you need to, close your eyes. I want you to start envisioning your breath, kind of coming down into the ground. So really feeling your heels onto the floor. Start squeezing in the core, squeezing in the glutes. Good, we're gonna inhale, lift the arms up, open your eyes or keep them closed if you wanna test yourself. You wanna come onto the tips of your toes, nice and tall. So kind of almost like in this handstand, standing handstand position. So we wanna relax the shoulders down, squeeze in, come as high up into the toes as we can, keeping our balance, good. Holding here, breathing. Breathing out. One more, inhale, squeeze. And exhale, hands to your heart. Release back down, good. Inhale, lift the left knee up to the chest. Hold here, three, two, one. We're gonna start extending this left leg back into warrior three. So it doesn't matter how high you get it to start, you wanna keep that right hip down. Then once you feel like you've got that position, you can start squeezing the glute to extend the leg higher without losing our form. Good, then inhale again, knee to chest. Exhale, kick it back. One more, inhale, knee to chest. This time, exhale, take it back into aeroplane to bring the arms behind you. Good, hold three. Two, one, from here, we're gonna step that warrior two, and then extend the arms out. So you wanna line up your heels together, front foot's 40 degrees, the other foot's facing out, relax, roll the shoulders down, inhale, reach forward, and then exhale, reverse your warrior back, breathe in. Breathing out. One more inhale. And then exhale, back to warrior two. Good, one more time, inhale to reach. Exhale, reverse. Breathe in. This time as we breathe out, we're gonna drop the left elbow down to the left knee, extend the right arm over. We don't wanna be falling backwards, so you want your knee internally rotated forward, just looking into that middle index finger, breathe in. And breathe out, release back to warrior two. One more time, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior, breathe in. And as we breathe out, drop the left elbow down, extend the right arm over. Option here, if this feels nice and you wanna increase that stretch of the hip flexor, you can bring the right arm round and wrap it over to the left thigh. Again, if that's comfortable there too, you can option to take a bind and maybe even extend the leg, extend the arms back, look up, coming into triangle. Good, inhale. Breathing out. One more deep breath in here. And exhale, release back to warrior two. Inhale, come up forward into a high lunge. Bring your hands to your heart. Engage the core, look over the left foot. And we're gonna hop up, warrior three. Holding that. Last two. Last one. Good, inhale, bring your knee to your chest. And exhale, release back down, meet in our Tadasana, get ready to go for that again. Good, inhale, lift the arms up high. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Find a spot to focus on, inhale, lift up the left knee to the chest. Breathe in. And as we breathe out, gently start to extend that left leg back, warrior three. Remember, we want to find that spot first, keeping the hips square, and then starting to extend the leg up. 
Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, extend back. Good, one more, inhale, knee to chest. This time extend back, aeroplane, arms are straight. And release back, warrior two. Good, so you want those heels lining up, front knees bent, arms extending out. Good, breathing in here. Breathing out, stay nice and strong in this warrior position. Inhale, reach forward. And exhale, reverse. Breathe in here. Breathe out. One more, inhale. And exhale, release, warrior two. One more time, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse, deep breath in. And this time as we come back to warrior two, the elbow comes down, left arm extends over. We wanna be pushing out that right knee, increasing that stretch through the hip, hold for three, two, and one, release back, warrior two. Good, last time, inhale, reach forward. And exhale, reverse back. Take an inhale here. And exhale, release the elbow down, extend the arm over. Breathe in. If that feels comfortable, we can wrap the left arm around, grab the right hip. Again, if that feels comfortable there, you can take a bind or maybe even straighten the leg in that bind, go for our triangle. Looking up, breathe in. Breathing out. One more, inhale. And exhale, release back to warrior two. Inhale, come back up to our high lunge. Exhale, hands to your heart, take a nice hop forward, warrior three. Left leg up. Good, inhale, knee to chest. And exhale, release down. We will meet in our Tadasana, toes together. Heels slightly apart, take a moment here again to reset. Breathe in. Sigh it out. Good, when you are ready, we are gonna sweep the floor, come into our Utpatana chair pose. Good, hold there, three. Two. One, hands to your heart, forward fold. Good, one more time, sweep the floor, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to your heart, bring the left elbow over the right knee. Come into that twisted stretch, bring your hands to your heart. We want to try and keep our knees in line here. Hold three, two, one, inhale, back to centre, child pose. Exhale, hands to your heart, right elbow over left knee, push back. Hold for three, two, and one, forward fold. Good, inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, bend the knees, place the hands down, lift the heels up, option to step or hop back to plank. Shift the weight forward, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths here, breathing. Breathing out. Nice, a few more breaths here in this position. This is our last downward dog. So whatever you wanna do here, whether it's get the heels closer to the floor, feel that stretch in the calves, or maybe you wanna keep your downward dog really fluid and energetic, creating heat in the body. Just whatever's comfortable for you to get that sweet spot in the stretches for the last couple of breaths. Exhale. 
One more inhale here. And as you breathe out, come high up onto the toes. Drop the knees out to the side, toes together. And take a child pose here. Drop the head down. Feel the head on the floor. Let the breath breathe out. You can even bring your hands into prayer here so we can just relax the arms a bit more. And we we're actively pulling the shoulders down, getting that stretch, inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. And drop the hands, gently open the eyes, start to walk the hands back to the knee. We're gonna bring both legs out forward in front of us. Get nice and straight, sit nice and tall. Inhale, lift the arms up. And as we exhale, we're gonna to start to fold. But before we drop the head, I want you guys to just lead with the lower core. Keep the chest lifted, shoulders actively pulled back. Feet flat, so we're reaching for the toes or maybe even just holding under the kneecap. And then you're gonna take an inhale here when you feel like you've reached the point you can't get down any further. And then as you breathe out, you can fold over. Every time we wanna increase our flexibility and build a bit more strength in these stretches, it's always better to work against your own resistance first, keeping nice and straight before rounding over and compensating, if that makes sense. Yeah, we're gonna hold here for three breaths. So whatever's comfortable for you. Actively just extending that stretch with every breath out. Good, breathe in. One final inhale here. And exhale, start to walk the hands back towards the hips. We're gonna bring the right foot over the left knee, sit up nice and tall. Place the right hand just by the right hip. You're gonna inhale, reach the left arm up. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring the left elbow around the right knee and just start to pull back. If you do get a twinge in the quad or the hip flexor area, just shake it out a little bit and then go back in or straighten the leg a bit further. Good, hold that three, two, and one, back to centre, switch sides, left foot over right knee, inhale, reach the right arm up. And exhale, bring that right elbow over the left knee, gently pull back, looking over the left shoulder, sitting up nice and tall for three, for two, and one, breathe out, come back to centre. Good, shake the legs out. Last bit of hard work here. We're gonna come up into a boat pose. So if you've got a bad coccyx or a sore lower back, just keep the knees bent, you can keep the arms down if you need to, or you might wanna pop a pillow down. Otherwise, straightening the legs if you can. I do have an injury down here, I'm not just being lazy. Good, holding there, three, two, and one, we're gently gonna start lowering all the way down for five, four, three, two, and one, good. Stretch the arms back, take a nice full body stretch, breathe in. And as we breathe out, you're gonna hug the knees into the chest nice and tight. Close the eyes, start slowing down the breath. Maybe gently rocking the knees from side to side. Inhale. Exhale. Good, dropping the left leg down straight, keeping the right knee hugged in. Take a deep breath here for three, two, one, as you sigh out, use the left hand to pull the right knee over to the left side and extend the right arm out and just move the gaze of your head over to the right shoulder. So you should feel that stretch all the way down your back into the glutes. Holding here three, two, 
two. And one, good. Back to centre, switch sides, right leg comes down, left knee hugs in. Breathe in. And as we breathe out, use the right hand to pull the left knee over, moving the gaze of our head to our left shoulder. Oh, I've got a nice fix there. Good, holding there, three. And two. And one, good. Gently come back to centre, hug the knees in. Take whatever final stretch you want to take here. And when you are ready, we are going to meet for a little Shavasana to finish. So if you're new to yoga, Shavasana is called a corpse pose because we just lie on the floor very comfortably and it's the best part ever. So just bring your hands out to the sides, palms facing up if you want to receive any energy or palms facing down if you want to keep the energy that you have in and that you've created in this practice. And then just bring your feet out hip width apart and let them drop to the side comfortably. And gently here, just start letting the breath slow down. Breathing in. And just taking this time to fall back into your body here. And just making every breath longer as we relax and let all that energy come out. Take the time to thank our body for the practice today. And just really use this next minute just to kind of sit with your thoughts, let them come in, let them come out. Maybe again, start to scan the body. Notice how you feel now after the practice and how you felt at the start. If any areas felt particularly tight, maybe around the hips or around the chest or the shoulders. In yoga, you know, it's, it feels very releasing because we hold so much emotion within our body. So when you move, kind of like when you dance, that's why it feels nice to just let everything go. So if at any point in the practice day you did feel particularly tight in any of those areas, just maybe start to think about why that might be, what areas of your life do you think you can maybe not even necessarily take a step back from, but just kind of pull back to just relax yourself, because everything's always go, 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 and we don't need to put our bodies under stress and need to put our minds under pressure, because you know, we're exactly, we're all exactly where we're meant to be, and we just, I think, we just need to remember to look after ourselves and to just take that time to just sit and really look over our lives and just make sure that everything is aligned and that we are taking care of ourselves as much as we're taking care of the people around us. So we're just going to take three more deep breaths here in the Shavasana. Maybe start to bring the awareness back to our toes. To our fingers, to our eyebrows, maybe moving around the hips, moving around the shoulders. Interlacing the hands, taking a nice full body stretch here. And then gently keeping your eyes closed. We're just going to roll over onto our left shoulder. Bring the right hand down and rest. Breathe in here. And as we breathe out, gently use that right hand just to assist you back up to a seated position, keeping your eyes closed, bringing your hands to your heart, and just taking a moment to bring our thoughts back to that intention that we set at the start of the practice so we don't forget it for the rest of the week. Bring your thumbs up to your third eye, press down for kind thoughts. 
to your lips for kind words and to our heart for self-love and love for those around who need it. One more deep breath in here. As you breathe out, head bow down. Namaste, everyone. You can gently start to open your eyes. Oh, I hope everyone is feeling good and nice and relaxed. Thank you so, so, so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. My name again is Kelly Marks. I'm a yoga teacher from London. If you want to find me, you can just check out my Instagram. It will be tagged below. But I hope everyone has an amazing rest of their day and thank you for tuning in.